you never know what to expect when it comes to a North London derby and that's what we have to look forward to today here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium I'm Derek Ray Stuart Robson is next to me ready to provide expert analysis Stuart what should we look forward to well I think we're going to get a good game the atmosphere is always hostile whenever these two teams meet let's just hope the players can put that to one side and give us a great game today they're two very good teams Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And a very good challenge. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Thomas Partey starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Well, there's something wonderfully artistic about James Madison and his overall game. Stewart, what part might he play in this match? Well, Derek, we know he's an outstanding player. But when he gets free kicks in wide areas, he usually delivers the perfect cross. And when it's on the edge of the box, he always makes the goalkeeper work. Promising pass. Can he do it? And fine goalkeeping. Fired over the corner, and a goal! Arsenal strike first in the derby, and that has silenced the majority in here. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. We'll see what happens next. Thomas Partey. It's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Please take your hands off. Well, spot on with that challenge. Intelligent threaded pass here. Oh, that's a fine save. Under some pressure. Dejan Kulusevski. Oh, the threat is there. Arsenal have given it away. Dejan Kulusevski. Great opportunity. Oh, no. It's gone a begging. Well, they can't miss opportunities like that. What a chance to equalise. Timber. So on the cusp of the half-time interval, it's Arsenal holding the edge here. Stuart, time for your assessment of what you've seen from them. Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Now disappointing end to the move. Madison. Really vital interception here. Crossair. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Well, this could be an opportunity here. And able to get a body in the way. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. To make it 2-0. A goal! Accurate from the spot. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. And a vibrant and effective display from Bukayo Saka, one that you've enjoyed, Stuart. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today.
Now the ball is moving again. The first half struggles for Tottenham were there for all to see. Can they make a better fist of it in this half? Ben White. So to the keeper. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Timber. And slipped through beautifully. Well, unable to bend his run offside. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Counter attacking, very much an option. Arsenal could be onto something. Options in the middle. Well played in from the flag, but not to any great effect. Timo Werner. Perfect tackle. And support available. Havertz. Big chance. Well, the keeper in position to prevent... another goal from him well he's a massive threat that really could have been his second goal there substitution for Arsenal. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here Gabriel Martinelli. and number two William Saliba coming onto the pitch number 13 Raheem Sterling and number 30 corner kick played in Zinchenko. James Madison snuffed out the danger immediately well we have 20 minutes left in this game the verdict is offside here Bisuma on to Werner Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? That is tackling of the highest order. Conte threaded pass. Is it going to be Raheem Sterling? And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace and transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and what a clinical finish this is. Hit with such power by Sterling, not much chance for the keeper there. It's a great goal. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Ten minutes to go. A nice ball over the top. Still alive up defensively well you have to categorize that as a missed opportunity James Madison and now with Kulusevsky Pat Matar Saar there now on to Son. Oh, did so well to deny him. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Over it comes. Trossard. So there goes the final whistle. It ends in a victory for Arsenal. Maximum points for them. What did you make of it all?
You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. And a good night's work for Raheem Sterling. What in particular did you see from Sterling in this game? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him.